and Chief Cornelius Wabas will be announcing the achievement of a significant project milestone, the completion of the Northern Road Link Environmental Assessment proposed terms of reference. Following this will be remarks from Premier Doug Ford and the Minister of Northern Development and Mines, Natural Resources and Forestry, as well as Indigenous Affairs, Mr. Greg Rickford. Now I'd like to introduce Chief Bruce of Martin Falls First Nation to provide some remarks on achieving the milestone of completion of the Northern Road Link Environmental Assessment proposed terms of reference. Chief. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here this morning and, and, uh, and uh, it's a very uh, momentous occasion uh, here with the Premier and uh, Minister Rickford. Uh, we also, uh, uh, I'm here with my uh, associates. I'm glad to be here to, uh, to at, this, uh, at this event and it's, uh, it's a long time coming. I think it's been two years since we first announced uh, the Northern Road Link, uh, the start of it. And uh, we're now here uh, uh, with the completion of the terms of reference. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be releasing it at the end of this month. So with that, you know, it's, uh, it's a start of a, a journey for us uh, into uh, economic reconciliation. For, for Martin Falls First Nation and our, and our, our uh, neighboring uh, Matwa, Matwa First Nation communities, including our partners, uh, Webekwe First Nation, who has been on, on this journey uh, with us side by side. And uh, I also uh, want to acknowledge uh, my fellow chief, Chief Cornelius Wabas, of uh, Webekwe First Nation, who is on uh, uh, Zoom today. And uh, we sat down together uh, in Thunder Bay yesterday, and uh, he told me he could not make it, but uh, but he'll, he'll be here on in, in Zoom. But with that, you know, it's uh, it's a very uh, very uh, great occasion for us, on, on for our members on behalf of Martin Falls First Nation. I'd like to thank the Premier and we'd like to thank uh, Minister uh, Rickford for all the work and, and, uh, and uh, our, uh, our associates and our, uh, our, our staff with the Northern Road Link. They've done a lot of work to come this far and uh, there's a lot of work still to do. Uh, we're going to be moving on to the actual work of the uh, environmental assessment moving, moving forward. Uh, with the actual studies that are, are going to be happening um, and you know we're, we're glad to move forward on this with, uh, with, uh, with uh, the environmental assessment that's happening on our traditional lands Martin Falls First Nation and you know it's, it's something that uh, we're very proud of and uh, we want to move forward in a good way uh, moving but all the responsibilities that we have to do under an environmental assessment. As I said, uh, this is a, a move forward. Is, this is a move forward for us uh, in terms of uh, economic re reconciliation, alleviating the conditions in the community, uh, the uh, the poverty levels that we have uh, faced uh, on in the decades past. You know, recently I, I had uh, announced. Uh, um, a state of emergency on uh, education and you know there's a lot of work to do in those uh, socio-economic areas and with our, within our community and within our neighboring uh, Matawa First Nation communities. So with that I want to say thank you to the yeah. Premier again to the to Minister Rickford and uh, Northern Road Link. Thank you Chief Bruce for your thoughtful yeah. comments. Uh, uh, now from Thunder Bay via Zoom call, as uh, the Chief mentioned, we have Chief Cornelius Wabas of Webeque First Nation. Good morning, Chief. Ready to go, Chief? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hear me okay? 
Yeah, you're coming live from the Grand Canyon, unless we can uh, change this. Here, we're just we're getting a big echo. Just a second. Um, cell phone. Mike Fox has got him on a screen there.
Thank you, Chief Cornelius. Next up on our list, we have another special guest, Premier Doug Ford. Welcome, Premier Ford. Well, th thanks so much, Don, and, and good morning, everyone. And, and thank you for the, the comments, uh, Chief Cornelius and Chief Bruce. Uh, on behalf of Minister Rickford, I'd just like to take a moment to acknowledge and thank, again, Chief Cornelius and Chief Bruce for the collaboration and partnership on this venture. And it's been a true partnership in every sense of the word and has brought us together for this landmark announcement. As our province becomes the global leader in building electric vehicles of the future, we're connecting industries, resources, and workers in the north to the auto and EV battery manufacturers in the south so we can unlock the full economic potential of Northern Ontario and we're working side by side with our indige Indigenous partners to ensure that communities around the Ring of Fire have access to the roads needed, not only to support development, but also to improve access to everyday essentials like fuel, groceries, and healthcare. That's why I'm so proud to have the Webaquay and Martin Falls First Nations with us today to announce that they will be submitting terms of reference for the proposed Northern Road Link environmental assessment. The Northern Link Roadway will be a vital transportation connection to the First Nation communities in the North, connecting them to the jobs and opportunities of tomorrow. Friends, working with our Indigenous partners, we are getting it done for Northern Ontario. Thank you, and now I'll pass it over to Minister Rickford. Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you, Premier, for this extraordinary opportunity. Chief, uh, Chief Amiskam and Chief Wabas, uh, uh, good to see and hear from both of you uh, today. As the Premier said, um, this is an extraordinary milestone in a process that, in my view, uh, has taken far too long uh, up until the past couple of years, where the communities uh, took leadership uh, and committed to a process where to arrive where we are today. The ability to move forward on the strength of the terms of reference, reflecting the leadership and principles of the Indigenous communities to build what we're referring to for now as a corridor to prosperity, to unleash, as the Premier said, and unlock uh, communities' potential, to be a supply corridor for not just the prospect, no pun intended, of development, but for energy corridors, for a roadway that will help move uh, community members back and forth uh, to city centers for other things like health services and economic activity. Uh, as somebody who has lived and worked in this area and a number of these communities in, former, in a former capacity as a nurse, I can tell you that this is transformative. And as uh, Chief Achipaniskam said moments ago, um, we are now in a position to get down to the real work, moving ever closer to uh, starting the environmental assessment and uh, the prospect of uh, a corridor to prosperity um, being built has never been closer. So I want to thank the leadership of the community, our, our Premier, uh, for uh, providing the opportunity from the provincial government side uh, to engage so extensively with the leadership of the communities in this area. I know there are other communities that are getting just as excited about the prospect that we have here uh, to open up uh, this area of Northern Ontario and move together as full, full partners. Thank you and miigwech. Miigwech. Thank you. Miigwech. Thank you, Minister Rickford. That concludes <clears throat> the special announcement portion of today's live stream. I'd like to thank our special guests for joining us and hopefully we'll see you again soon uh, at our next milestone. Absolutely. We're counting on that. I look forward to that. <laughs> Before the next segment of our show, uh, we would like to show you a couple of videos. The first of which talks about the aspirations the Webaquay community members have for an outdoor arena. The second video captures a recent visit to the Martin Falls First Station community by the project team. After the videos, we will come back and present the second part our session on the contents of the environmental assessment proposed terms of reference. Thank you for joining us. Miigwech.